Hey guys, today we're going to make a really beautiful balloon pacifier centerpiece, uh, which is great for baby showers, and uh, that's about it. <laughs> so, uh, I think it came out really cool, it's really nice, it's a little twist on what you normally see out there, so uh, let me know what you think, and let's get started. So, for this one you're going to need 5-inch um, white balloons, 5-inch pink balloons, and 5-inch um, round, no, sorry, and 11-inch... Let's see, an 11 inch It's a Girl, oh for this specific video it's 11 inch It's a Girl video, but if you do boy, obviously you can do white, uh, pale blue or light blue balloons, and then It's a Boy, uh, we're going to stuff that into a 16 inch clear latex balloon. Uh, all the stuff's in the description area like always, uh, at least so you know exactly what you should be buying. You should always be buying Qualitex balloons, wherever you get them from, they last longer, they're more durable. Um, it just the better route to go, especially if you're going to be doing this for a living or at least trying to make some extra money on the side. Okay, with that being said, um, first thing, you do need a pedestal stand. So I show a video how to do that. I'll put a link in the description area as well, how to make a pedestal stand. What's really cool, I learned how to make a pedestal stand with a hanger, a uh, clothes hanger. So if you want to see that video or want me to make it, just comment below and I'll, and I'll throw up a video on that um, too. But either way, I have two different ones. One's made with a cramp prop and one now that I came up with uh, with a hanger. Okay, so uh, once you create your pedestal stand, you're going to go ahead and blow up four. Um, let's see, which one I'm going to do first? <clears throat> I'm going to do the pink first. <clears throat> so blow up uh, five inch, uh, blow up your four or five inch round pink balloons. Uh, tie them together <clears throat> and then we're just going to marry them to make a quad. And then you're just going to stick your plant prop or your, your stand right between two balloons here. And then rotate these two. And you're going to do that one more time. We're going to change it up and do the white on top of that. And then just make sure that you can't put it on one like this. You're going to want to make sure that this balloon lands in the middle so they're all like uh, going back and forth here. So I'm going to rotate that and spin it. And you just have something that looks like that. Then you're going to go ahead and go with the white balloon. And we're going to put that down right around here, leaving enough space to put our pink balloon on top of that. Now once you put this on, it's going to be a little sideways, but don't worry, it'll straighten out once you put this uh, other quad on. So we'll go ahead and put the quad on top of that one. And then once that's there, we're just going to push it from the bottom up so they marry each other. Hold your top and the bottom. Alright, so you got something that looks like that. Hopefully that looks good on your end. It does. Okay. Now, for this part here, we're going to go ahead and stuff a balloon. So we need a... I'm using a 16-inch clear latex balloon. And then I'm going to stuff it with it's a, an It's a Girl printed 11-inch balloon. Alright, so all you got to do is roll that balloon up. The It's a Girl up. And get it into like a little pencil shape there. All you got to do is blow into this balloon. And stick it in. That should go right in there. If you can't get it in all the way, you can always grab it a little bit and pull it. And until both of the nozzles are touching each other. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is blow up the clear balloon first. So we're just going to pull the uh, It's a Girl balloon to the side. And I've got my pump here. It's not plugged in. Now you can do this by hand. Um, you can use helium, you can do it by hand, or you can use an electric pump. Either way is going to work fine. So, I'm going to go ahead and blow up the latex balloon about a quarter of the way. Just about there. And then I'm holding it. As I'm holding it, I'm going to go ahead and now fill up the pink balloon. Just like, like so. Now I'm going to tie it. Now it's very tough to tie a 16 inch balloon. But I'm going to go ahead and pull out the 11 inch nozzle, that one, and just wrap it around my two fingers, like so, and I stick it through the middle, and that's just going to hold it in place, like that. So I'll put that to the side, and then all we're going to do now is take our a, two, a white 260, I don't think I mentioned that, but you're going to need a white 260 as well, and that's going to be for the passive wire, and this is probably going to fall here, I'm just trying to get it to stay. stay. 
Only if you do this, you get the static off of it. Do you stick it on the wall? No? Alright. Anyway. Stay. I'm gonna, you're going to need a pump for this. Um, unless you can do it with your mouth. It's very difficult to do it in your mouth. I do show a video how to try to do it with your mouth. But again, it takes a lot of practice. So, I uh, would just get yourself a 260 pump. Either at the store where you bought the 260s. Or, again, I'll leave, it, I'll leave a link in the description area. So, anyway, you're going to blow this 260 up to about 3 quarters. Right about there, you're gonna leave, I guess, about a four finger tail on the end. That's a good measurement. You're gonna tie these two together. And then we're gonna tie that to the end of our stuffed balloon here. Now we're going to need one more quad, it's going to be a white quad, and we're going to go ahead and put it right underneath here uh, to give it its collar. But now we have our, our quad, um, and then what we're going to do ahead, go ahead and stick that quad in between the balloon, the stuffed balloon and the 260, and then rotate them. And now you have something that looks like that. Now we're going to take a scrap balloon, and it can be white or pink to match, okay? And um, I'm going to go ahead and just wrap that right, right in the middle so you have them sticking down here. You can see that. And we're going to go ahead and wrap that around our collar here. Alright, sorry for the cut there. I'm just trying to uh, try to zoom it in a little bit better so you see exactly what I'm doing. Um, so we went ahead and we attached our 260 to our stuff balloon, our pacifier, and now what we're going to go ahead and do is, is attach it to your uh, piece here. So what you, you want to do is, is pull out your 260 a lot, and then place it in the middle, and just wrap it around the bottom here. It'll be a little tricky. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do that for the, for the other side as well. I'm going to pull this side and wrap that around. Okay, now it's just time for repositioning. I'm going to go ahead and adjust this. Pull it up. Oh, I just, I just lost it. That's okay. If you lose your centerpiece like this, only way, you, only you have to do to do is attach it. Is to stick this in there and then twist it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then we're gonna go ahead and push it back up, and let me see what it looks like on your end there. Check, check from my side. Up. Oh, this needs to be a little bit turned a little bit. And there you go. Uh, baby pacifier centerpiece. Um, hope you like it. Let me know. Subscribe. Comment below. Tell me what I can do differently. If you have any tricks or anything like that to help me out. But uh, alright. Thanks for watching.